Hey y'all, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel if you're already subscribed. I'm out on the creek today, and uh, we're out fishing, y'all. <laughs> Let's get to fishing. It's a beautiful day. A bit, a bit breezy, not too bad. Uh, I got both rods today, so uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of jigging, and I'm gonna do a little bit of minnow fishing under the court. But uh, water level is significantly lower. I'm, I'm significant is like two feet or so. Uh, it uh, should be pretty good conditions. Water temp 56 to 59 degrees, depending where you're at. Out here in deep east Texas. Uh, I haven't gotten, I haven't wet a line yet really. Uh, it took me a while to get down here, so I got a few hours to fish, y'all. I got a busy day, so I just got a little bit of time to sneak away to fish, and here I am, y'all. Let's, let's get to fishing. I'm jig a little bit of this, some of this brush right here. I got my seven foot rod. poking around you know seeing if they're around the edges of this this little you know this floating pile of vegetation uh old old tr trees are like uh branches this is jigging around oh there we go up shallow black crappie He got off the hook right here, but he's in the kayak, y'all. That was almost immediate, y'all. First fish of the day. And they were up real shallow, just like I said. This is a male, I'm pretty sure it's a male. Let's see if it keeps. No, oh, just shy. About nine inches. Not a... I mean, not a bad catch. I mean, it's a crappie. There you go, buddy. Make some babies. But as I said before, uh, they're up in that floating, floating stuff or uh, timber, timber around uh, the shoreline, y'all. Uh, well, there's plenty of that in this creek right here. This is why this is one of my favorite parts of the creek. But uh, they're nice and tight to that stuff right there. And that one didn't really have a dark coloration to it at all. Uh, but it, that definitely is a mature crappie. That that crap that size crappie nine inches is you, is is probably the number one that's breeding on this creek or any any body of water. About nine inches is where is when they uh, are primed to breed as you say and that's coming from a biologist that's not coming from just hearsay or I, well, I guess that is kind of hearsay but that's actually facts from a biologist y'all if y'all are interested in listening to a podcast with a biologist that actually studies crappie I could link that down below for y'all maybe in the comment section if you guys want to uh, want to um, learn a little bit about crappie it's amazing i mean it's so interesting if you guys are crappie fanatics uh like i am uh, i'm quite quite a bit of a crappie fanatic i guess you could say i love fishing for them here we go y'all what is this what in the world <laughs> That's the tiniest white bass I've ever seen. Look how big that bait is, and it done choked it. Jeez. Oh, look at that. Got some right here, y'all. I don't know what it is. Ooh, it's a big old crappie. 
Done pretty good. That's a slab, y'all. It was almost immediate. I dropped that bait down and got him right away. That's a big old, pretty sure that's a female right there. Yeah, bite's pretty slow, y'all. I mean, the crappie, they're, they're definitely out on <clears throat> pretty shallow stuff, y'all. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Keep her crappie right there. Woo! Now I got something to cook. <laughs> so two crappie a day, a little tiny white bass. Uh, and I'm really not going to count. <laughs> but uh, they're definitely biting out here, y'all. Yeah, y'all, that wasn't very deep at all. It was, it's like a little less than five foot of water. They're feeding upwards, for sure. But, uh... I got varying depths right here. That's that's probably about a, a three and a half foot down right there and a bit more shallow water, about seven foot. And over here is about 12 foot of water. Man, that, there, I mean, that one hit it about, about four to five foot down. <clears throat> I mean, that was almost immediate. It, I dropped that bait down and uh, as it was sinking down, it got took. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna run out, give me a 10 footer, 10 foot pole and single pull it the next day. And um, see if I can make it happen, y'all. I, I don't know yet. I mean, I love crappie fishing. White bass, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. And especially when it's peak peak season, uh, when the white bass are up here in the thousands, and it's just fun, y'all. It's just every cast, but crappie, you got to break it down a little bit. It's a bit more challenging, especially in this area. And it's not like it, it used to be, I guess. Uh, but you know, it's whatever it is, environmental changes and and all that. It's definitely not overfishing. Yeah, I, I know for sh for sure it's not overfishing. Uh, crappie are pretty uh, prolific breeders. I mean, one female, I believe it's 30,000 eggs. And that's just one crappie. That's from, from one crappie. So you times that by a million. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a bit. I guess it depends where you're at, too. I mean, that, this creek is definitely filled with crappie, but I'm pretty sure a lot of environmental changes is what's it's what's killing the population, I think. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's pretty sure that's a white bass there. Gonna keep her white bass at it. Inhaled it, y'all. Woo! That's a keeper right there. I mean, I mean. So, uh, I'm definitely going to put this one on a stringer. Whoa. I mean, why not, y'all? I got one crappie. Might as well give me a white bass, too, right, y'all? Still got that mint in his mouth. <laughs> but, uh, they're up in here, too. Bye, catch. Bye, catch that. Don't taste too bad, actually. <laughs> Put her on the string. I mean, up north, there's, there, I mean, there's lakes around here. I mean, a, a bit of a drive for me that you'll, you'll catch a limit, especially if you got, you know, live scope or something like that. Look how dark that crap you got, y'all. Yeah. See that? That crap you had no shred. It was real, it was real, uh, it was real light colored. And uh, now, now it has some black hole stripes. That's weird. They do that in the live well, too. I don't know why that is. Uh, I don't know. How many of y'all know? Uh, any of y'all know why they do that? They, they get a little darker when they, you put them on the live well or the stringer. I don't know. Let me, let me know uh, how that, why they do that. I th maybe it's stress levels or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I got one. 
slab uh crappy on oh here we go oh. here we go a little baby white bass dang it is that a white bass or a sand bass white bass and there's li these little guys in here too i hate them a little bait these and they'll poke the they'll poke the turd out of you if you know <laughs> if you're not careful look at this little guy he's bait size y'all for big old flathead <laughs> but they're biting now it's magic hour looks like put a couple more on a stringer especially some crappie y'all call it a successful day <laughs> fishing eight to twelve foot of water and uh under five foot under five foot of uh under my cork so five foot down from the water surface essentially four to five foot oh there we go again that's a white bass for sure yep that's a white bass oh no it's a big old crappie y'all there we go that's a keeper crappie too oh there are it's on fire today, y'all. <laughs> I just put that bait down, too. Oh. Look at that. Right at the roof of the mouth. Right in the nose. <laughs> Another keeper crappie, y'all. I'm happy. They're biting now. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh. Look at that. Nice little white. See the white bass are biting and the white crap you're biting, you know. But yeah, I do uh, bend. I try to bend the hook tip. It's not a drastic hook bend at all. As long as that that tip of the hook is past the eyelet and it's pointed kind of upwards like this, you're good to go. Here you go, y'all. Another crappie. Another slab crappie, y'all. Whoo! Another keeper crappie, y'all. They are biting. They are biting, y'all. Ow! <laughs> Another slab. I, was, I wasn't expecting much today. I mean, I only got a couple of hours of fish, y'all, but... Look at that. Another keeper crappie right there, y'all. I'm filling up the stringer right now. What a good day. See, I wasn't expecting much today, but uh, I might end up releasing this white bass here. I mean, I love eating crappie, huh? A white bass, they're second. <laughs> so let's release this white bass here. It's nice and healthy still. And, uh, Dang clip off. I'm gonna let go of this white bass. I got plenty of crappie to eat. Yeah, I got another bite right here, y'all. Ow, I got a hook in my finger now. <laughs> there we go. Dang it. Ah, oh, look at this. Is that a sandy? Oh, yeah, it's a little sand bass, y'all. Third species of the day. <laughs> yeah, y'all. This little sand bass is. Look how spiky they are. They're they're really pretty fish, I think. Oh, there's a bunch of fish under underneath right here, y'all. If I let go of that white uh, that white bass, I don't need it. And it was just perfectly healthy. I had to throw it right back because uh, it's getting bit again. A little sandy bass. They're really pretty, pretty fish. Uh, they do really good in an aquarium, I think. But how do you, how do you pass the how do you pass that minnow down? <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I don't know where it, what's going on, but they're all of a sudden they're biting. I mean, I was in this spot for quite a bit <laughs> before I started getting the bites and. Uh, once I started catching one, I guess, you know, the rest of them got real hungry. <laughs> but successful day, y'all. 
three keeper crappie on the on the stringer. Uh, was it three 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 on the stringer? And um, caught four all day. Uh, so they're definitely biting out here. I can't even catch. I mean, <laughs> spending the time baiting hooks and not fishing, y'all. Yeah, y'all, the sun is down out on me. I probably got about an hour before the sun is down, down. So I'll give it another 15 minutes. I'm already, you don't want to leave while the fish is biting, y'all. Oh, come on. This is a white bass. You got it. He's towing my kayak around. <laughs> yep, big old white. Well, I'm going to let him go. You don't want to leave while the fish are biting, right, y'all? <laughs> I mean, my, my, I don't want to be out here on the dark. I ain't got my headlamp on me or kayak light, so. Yeah, y'all. Keeper white bass. I mean, they're up in here, too, of course. Beautiful day of fishing. I'll be back for you. <laughs> there we go. Y'all, they're biting right now, and you kind of don't want to leave while they're biting. <laughs> Got some wood ducks finding that little pond right there. That's cool. I love, I love it out here, y'all. I love creek fishing. Oh, there's something about a creek. It's just peaceful. Lots of wildlife. And some days you get lucky and get on the crappie. <laughs> well, y'all, I got a couple minutes before uh, I'm going to take off. Hopefully I can get it. Another slab crappie would be pretty nice. But most of the crappie I caught <coughs> just now, I mean, the last 20 minutes, <laughs> uh, we're, all we're all keepers. Uh, big slab crappie. But uh, they're definitely up in the creeks. They're definitely up shallow now. Uh, so get out there and fish from y'all. They're, they're up in that. I get, what do you call that? Uh, I guess the brush piles up, uh, you know, close to shores as shore as well. Lay downs, lay downs that that touch the water or in the water. Best places to fish right now. Uh, if you're single pulling, I mean, you could fish with minnows. So it's a hit or miss uh, with minnows. But uh, if you can locate, you know, where the timber is, where it's kind of shallow, they're they're there. They're they're definitely staging up and getting ready for the spawn, y'all. So uh oh, there we go. They're uh setting up for the spawn, y'all, and come on now. I can get all day. <laughs> Just catch me one more. This one's floating away, something fiercer. There you go. That's a little baby black. A little baby black crappie. He had that, he had that bait in his mouth and he was just uh, swimming around. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Well, is this my last fish? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to give it five minutes. I don't know how many. I got a bunch of minutes left. <laughs> uh, but I'll keep them alive and... Uh, I'll be out fishing in here in a couple days. And hopefully this is as good as this. Maybe, heck. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Missed him. I missed him, y'all. Hopefully it's as good as today. <laughs> but uh, the weather's nice. Yo, check this out. <laughs> little catfish done try to steal my bait. Little channel cat. I also got this little guy. <laughs> and he took my bait. Let's cast this out. I mean, it'll still get, I think. I mean, they're batting right now, so. Yeah, y'all. Didn't too, didn't do uh, too bad right here. Let's see how, see how dark they got. <laughs> they're really light too it's really a cloudy creek but uh 
I think I'm gonna call it quits, y'all. I only got a few minutes, <laughs> basically, until uh, the sun goes down. But a uh, successful day. I might do a two part, or I might do uh, a catch and cook. <laughs> but uh, let's get on home, y'all. All right, y'all, let's get to cooking. Got some water boiling, got some oil in it, and some salt. Add a little proteiny. Got a pan with some uh, butter in it. Some minced garlic. I cooked that down a little bit. I'm gonna add some white wine. Just a tiny bit. I'm gonna reduce that down. Oh, that reduced down pretty good. I'm gonna add some uh, pork cheese alfredo. We'll make it simple today, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna add some ground pepper, black pepper. We'll add simmer in a way and uh, pretty hot. I'm gonna add some cheese. Make it even more thick. Stir that in, make it melt down and make everything a lot more thick and a lot more flavorful. Now I'm gonna reduce the temp to basically nothing, just keeping it warm. Now, uh, and letting that sit while the pasta cooks, finish cook, uh, finishes cooking. I got another pan heating up with some oil. Well, that's heating up. I got the crappy fillets right here. This is only just, this is only uh, four fillets. I got it patted down dry with uh, some paper towels. As, as dry as I can. These are some pretty decent sized fillets, y'all. Those are some pretty decent sized crappie. It's a good day of fishing. The crappie fillets, y'all, I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt. Season it up with some salt. Just a tiny bit, but not very much at all. Just a sprinkle. All, both sides. That salt's gonna start drawing out the moisture in, the, in that crappie right there. Uh, while that's doing that, uh, I'm gonna season up this Raging Cajun. Uh, watch my channel. I use this a lot. Lightly season on both sides. All right, y'all. Crappie flays here. I got flour right here, just plain flour. Uh, beaten egg and uh, Italian breadcrumbs. Panko, basically, but Italian style. Uh, but it works just fine. All right, well, I'm gonna go flour first. This is just a coat, just to coat the, uh, the filet. Uh, next step, well, I'm gonna actually do a bunch right here. I'm just gonna do all of it in the flour right now. And it's only four filets, really. Make sure you don't have excess flour in there. It's gonna be an egg wash. And then breadcrumbs. Uh, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty if you're gonna try this out. Make sure all of it's coated. If you're missing pieces, do it again. Dip it in the egg and uh, do it again. That's pretty good. I'm gonna set outside on the plate. And if you got time, you can just leave this stuff in the fridge. Uh, uh, you leave it in the fridge for a few minutes and get it nice and cold, it's it's even better. Pasta's done, uh, I'm gonna strain it. Now let's get back to the cream sauce. It's nice and warm. I got some frozen peas. Stir it up. Now, if you're gonna try the breadcrumb thing, the breadcrumb fish, uh, make sure your oil isn't burning hot because the, those breadcrumbs will brown up real, real fast. Stir them down. This doesn't take very long at all. You gotta be careful because that that oil can be a little too hot, and then you have some burnt. <laughs> Burnt fish. 
this pan isn't big enough for four fillets. I'm just gonna have to try to make it work. Well, these are still kind of hot a bit, you know, oily. I'm gonna season it again. Did have a little bit. It's uh, pretty well seasoned, but I wanna add a little bit extra. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty, pretty hungry. So I've been eating on one. <laughs> Look at that. That's crappy. It's always good. Yeah, y'all, the lighting sucks indoors. It's way better outdoors, y'all. <laughs> Red the sauce. I'm gonna add the pasta to it. Give it a little toss. That some pasta with Italian uh, breadcrumb fried fish. Crappy that is, yo. You know, it'd go good with this my hot sauce, but I don't have any hot sauce right now, y'all. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is gonna taste real good. Ooh, hot. Hmm. Adding white wine to um, white wine and garlic to an already, I mean, standard uh, Alfredo sauces um, does a lot. <laughs> it's really good. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This outro is actually filmed on another day. <laughs> uh, I went fishing today and caught a couple. It wasn't too, you know, it wasn't too crazy. I caught a couple slabs, y'all. Uh, so they are they are up in the creeks, and uh, they are getting ready to spawn. Uh, the trick is definitely uh, minnows. Right now, they're they're uh, it's a lot easier day with minnows, y'all. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna do this video uh, that's filmed today because well, my GoPro started acting up, and I I lost a bunch of footage, and uh, I don't I don't think it's very good enough. But uh. Hope you enjoy, enjoyed the video, y'all. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the quick cooking portion, even though I would kept it simple, uh, but absolutely delicious. Uh, can't be fried crappie and, and pasta, y'all. It's 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 too good. <laughs> but uh, hope y'all enjoyed yourself. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you love the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Uh, it helps you keep up to date with all my stuff, and it's absolutely free, y'all. Uh, catch y'all later. Mm -hmm.